Yo. You know I told you I'll be up on that CNN and shit, right? While I'm watching YouTube or whatever I'm doing, I'll be having CNN on and shit, right? <clears throat> How about motherfucking? All I be seeing is Trump, like new charges and shit, then Hawaii and other news, Hunter Biden and so forth, right? But how about Trump? And I don't know if I'm saying her name correctly, but Yanni, you get what I'm saying? The district attorney for Georgia and shit, right? <clears throat> Y'all know her and Trump, where well, Trump going at her and shit back and forth. Trump on some shit like, yo. You motherfucking had a secret affair with a motherfucking um, a gangster and shit, right? A gang member. But it was already brought to the um, the eyes of everyone. And who's not privy to knowing it? Well, you know now. But she was a, um, a lawyer for one of the YSL members prior to... This little YSL bullshit that's going on. So years before this shit was going on, she was just a lawyer, a regular lawyer. And then you know how you get promoted or you just don't want to be a lawyer no more shit. You go for the judge or you go for the position of a assistant district attorney or <clears throat> the attorney, um, <clears throat> the assistant or the uh, district attorney. You get what I'm saying, but... Trump going back and forth using that at his little rallies and shit, like campaign rallies and shit, saying like, yo, she used to have, you know, she was, she had a fling with a goddamn gang member and shit like that, but, okay, and then Trump on some shit like, yo, you worrying about me and my comrades and shit like that, you should be focusing more on the goddamn deaths and killers and shit that's going on in Atlanta, Georgia and shit. Which he was right. You get what I'm saying? Like, you targeted goddamn street street gangs and shit, right? They got something to do with um showbiz and you know like um celebrities and shit. So that's why you targeting certain gangs. But if you wanna target one, you need to target every one of these motherfuckers. But then at the end of the day. You coming at Trump and shit, right? For what he did or whatever the case is. Whatever y'all getting at him for, right? But don't y'all make motherfucking... Y'all agree to plea deals and shit like that. Like, with um, killers and rapists and whoever. Like, you already be having in y'all mindset of what y'all want to goddamn convict the person of. But the, um... The defense on their um <clears throat> on their behalf will present something to you like yo, my client is willing to get there and plead guilty of this to this because that's what y'all want a guilty plea anyway. So at the end of the day, we ain't got to go take this shit to trial and shit. We motherfucking <clears throat> gonna plead guilty and shit. So and another thing too, I learned judges really don't hold power in court. You get what I'm saying? Like, it be up to the district attorneys. So, this is to the guys that are always snitching and shit when they get caught up with guns and drugs and whatever the case may be. You snitching to law enforcement, which is going to leak that shit. I ain't going to say leak it because you have motherfucking <clears throat> jailhouse videos servicing now of individuals when they was locked down and shit. You get what I'm saying? So... How that shit getting out here, I don't know. But, I want to keep saying, I want to keep elaborating on some things, but I'm going to get sidetracked off my main point. So, the main point of this is like, yo, the district attorneys and shit make deals and shit, and no motherfuckers be guilty as hell and shit, right? So, at the end of the day, why did you go for Trump? Cause of stardom, cause of who he is and shit. Why did you go for YSL? Why did why are you going for um <clears throat> Twenty One Savage um allies? I ain't gonna say Twenty One Savage crew per se, but the allies to his main crew and shit. Why are you going for those people? You can look at a person and tell like 
the heavy makeup, how their hair be looking, their eyelashes and shit like that. You get what I'm saying? Some of these motherfuckers be about stardom and celebrity, celebrity <clears throat> appearances and shit like that. So at the end of the day, you came from Trump and Rudy Giuliani and all of these people and shit because of the names attached to the shit. You get what I'm saying? You need to be focusing more on the drugs and crimes in your city. You get what I'm saying? Who's to say you are not? But at the end of the day, like Trump was saying, like, you worrying about me and my comrades and shit. You need to be focusing on them gangs and shit like that. Instead of just tackling one or two just because of the name it holds in the celebrity world and shit. Motherfucker, get these low-level games and shit too as well if you want to come for somebody. But y'all listening to Trump, man. Well, he turned out to be. He was in some dark places. But is this going to be where they go and indict your opponent? Is this going to be the next president's going to say, hey, listen, my opponent is doing really well all over the place. Look at the crowds we have. I mean, outside you got a lot of people. And, uh, and by the way, I want to say officially for the press, it's about 110 degrees of this room. Nice job with the air conditioning, whoever. But, but you know what the press will say? You know, that motherfucker up there looking like a goddamn... A sweaty orange. You can tell it's hot in that motherfucker too. <laughs> but right now, this is um him campaigning in um in New Hampshire. His campaign route. You know the, they'll say Trump didn't look well. He was extremely wet. It's a hundred and four. I ain't gonna even lie, yo. That's what the fuck I just said. Without me even watching this shit. Like, yo, if you look at this mama, this mama look just like a wet ass orange. For a five degrees in this room. But we're okay with it, right? future of elections in America where a sitting president tells his tells his attorney general to indict the opponent, to try and knock the opponent down. This is what's happening. And then you ask the simple question. So this has been going on. And then this is the thing too, like, you do the crime and shit, then you best believe you gotta goddamn face the consequences. So, is the district attorney doing their job? Yeah. But look, at the end of the day, If you that motherfucking headstrong on fighting crime and doing this and that, that shit's supposed to be going on every day. That shit's supposed to be your everyday goddamn life. You supposed to wear that shit like, yo, the day when I get up, I'm going in this station or office, I'm fighting crime, I'm, I'm tackling this, I'm changing this. You get what I'm saying? Every time you hear it talk of yet, Fanny, Fanny Willis, or whatever, if I'm saying her name correctly, it was always some type of stardom attached with it. You get what I'm saying? Like, she represented, when she was an attorney, she was representing one of the YSL members before, way before the RICO bullshit. You get what I'm saying? Then, when she becomes a district attorney, she goes head first. Tackling motherfucking street street politics and shit like street shit that's been going on. For us, like yo, this person was a high gang, high ranking gang member who mysteriously passed away. Okay, we've been hearing talk of YZL was the cause of his death or such and such. So she been doing shit like that. But you got other family members out here wondering why she ain't that strong on finding out <clears throat> who was the killer. <clears throat> For one of their loved ones and shit. Been on for a long time, the same stuff. Hi, I'm Tom Grief, former state prosecutor and USCCA network attorney. I want to tell. Why didn't they do it two and a half years ago? You know why? Because then it wouldn't have mattered so much. You know, they want to take away your freedom of speech, everything else. Yo, that's what the fuck. Yo, 
I was thinking that shit early. I was like, yo, why the fuck is, like, if they coming for Trump for the shit that he did a year or two ago, right? Then why the fuck is she just waiting to be on some shit like, boom, we ready to hit him now? Alright, we didn't got them and tackle this YSL bullshit. Now we in the midst of ta tackling 21 Savages um, allies and shit. Why not just take up on this goddamn Trump? Didn't that shit go on in Georgia and shit like that with the votes and all of that shit, right? I'm district attorney of Georgia, so, yo, I can charge, I can indict these cats. And she gave them motherfuckers to the 25th to turn themselves in. And see, I ain't been tuning in to that shit to see if these motherfuckers have turned themselves in and shit like that. <coughs> but she said in the 25th, <clears throat> she giving them to the 25th. If I was reading it correctly on the screen. <clears throat> else would have mattered a lot less. But, and it would have been terrible because it's all bogus. But... Why, if they were going to do it, why didn't they do it two and a half years ago before the election, right? They waited till the election. They waited. And I probably have another one. They say there's a young woman, uh, a young racist in Atlanta. Say racist. And they say, I guess, they say that she was after a certain gang, and she ended up having an affair with the head of the gang. <laughs> see, he got a career. He, see... Oh man, that's how you know y'all remember that shit in school, right? You whisper something to somebody here and pass that shit down and before it gets to the last person, it ain't nowhere near what the fuck you told the first person. Do you get what I'm saying? But dude won't the head of YSL, he was just a member. <laughs> but Trump, Donald Trump talking about Yanni, if a Fanny I keep saying Yanni, I don't know why. But um Fanny Willis. If I'm saying her name correctly, Fanny. Or a gang member. And this is a person that wants to indict me. She's got a lot of problems, but she wants to indict me to try and run for some other office. Uh, what's going on in this country is. Uh, and by the way. Yo, yo. That's what I'm trying to figure out. The YSL, the other shit, the Lucha shit. Than Donald Trump, like what other like um positions? Like I can't even think. Like mayor, you would want to be no little mayor. You would want to be something else. Like what is she trying to be in the FBI? I don't know what the fuck. But you best believe she gonna have a whole lot of supporters, right? And just as many supporters that she have. She's going to have that many non-supporters, especially coming for Trump, who's um, still a likable person in some people's eyes and shit. Once you indict me for a perfect phone call, this was even better than my perfect call with Ukraine. Remember that call? That was a yo, it's a mouth flying here, yo. I don't know how to get this motherfucker out. Perfect call. This one's better. This one is more perfect. I challenged the election in Georgia, which I have every right to do, which I was right about, frankly. And they want to indict me because I challenged the election. So does that mean that Hillary Clinton, who challenged the election, does that mean that Stacey Abrams and all of the other, virtually every Democrat challenges the election? Does that mean, or they do the slate of electors? This has been going on since Thomas Jefferson. He wanted to say, but they don't call. They use my word. They took it and they said fake. Because I came up with the name Fake News a long time ago. Worked out good. But yeah, I remember it's no that longer shit. good enough because it's not tough enough. Because it's really corrupt news. It's beyond fake. They don't even write. They don't even write. All the money that Biden is stealing, you don't see one story. Years ago, they'd win Pulitzer Prizes. Today, even Pulitzer Prizes are very little value because, you know, we're suing the Pulitzer. Yo, man, so that was Trump, man, and he was speaking on... The district attorney of Georgia, man. You get what I'm saying? And y'all know how he come for people. So, <clears throat> she ain't excluded. You get what I'm saying? And in some aspects, I feel him and shit. And then at the, at the end of the day, she doing her job. But this just like any other police officer or 
Just anybody doing their job. It's going to be somebody that you don't do the job on with. You get what I'm saying? Like, every police officer don't give everybody a ticket. It's going to be somebody you let slide off with a citation, right? So that's basically where I'm trying to get at with this um, Fanny Willis lady. If you coming that hard for certain motherfuckers and shit, right, then you need to come that hard for everybody in Georgia, like all the little crimes, the killings, and all of that shit. So I just made a good analogy of that shit. You get what I'm saying? A police officer don't pull everybody over. It's going to be a few people, if not just one, that the motherfucker just let slide. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> so at the end of the day, it's been real.